Alright, what's up my friends? Welcome back. Playing some more Standard. We're playing the Esper Hero deck that's been the talk of a town lately in Standard. This is a big uh, week one deck at SCG Richmond last weekend. Um, and a deck, it was a deck before, it got a lot better. Uh, a lot of new cards in this deck. We got uh, D-Spark, Tyrant Scorn, Teferi, it's a big one, Othakaya, Elite Guard Mage, that's a cool one. Uh, Soren Vengeful Bloodlord. Liliana, Dreadhorde General, and Ever God Eternals. That's a lot. That's a lot of new cards. And um, before this deck was playing some big stinkers like Discovery Dispersal and Basilica Bell Haunt, stuff like that. And that kind of stinks, honestly. You were just playing too many bad cards. Now that the deck has a bunch of new good cards, it's pretty awesome. You know, playing some of the best cards in the set is great. Uh, Teferi is very good in this deck. We can, uh, you know, bounce our own creatures to reset them. We can bounce their creatures, so on and so forth. Uh, God Eternals is great. Cyborg's got Duress, Moment of Craving, Beto. Beto's really good. Uh, Rogue Shadow Mage is good. Time Wipe is really good in this deck. So, uh, deck seems sweet. And let's do it. You voted. Here we go. Deck list will be up in one second, my friends. Patience is a virtue. All right. Let's battle. Ranked ladder on arena. Hero time. Thoughts on Seraph for the scales? I don't think Seraph for the scales is very good. Uh, I think it's bad against counter spells. It's really bad against a fairy. Uh, Lava coil is fairly common. I just don't think Seraph is that good. Seraph is like a worse rekindling phoenix. Um, Definitely at a point now where Teferi check is a real thing. You know, if you're playing a creature that costs four or more mana and it's bad against Teferi, like baby Teferi, you probably need to reconsider uh, playing it in your deck. That's just how how things are shaping up at the moment. You know, with Teferi being one of the more marquee cards in the format, uh, very similar to uh, Flame Tongue Kabu back in the day. Raise your hand in chat if you remember Flame Tongue Kabu. A lot of Esper, jeez. Burn, burn. What's the matter with me? Burn. Can I help you? Yeah, Nicole's gonna win HQ. Yeah. She she promises she's gonna win. She guarantees victory. It's smarter day too. Smarter day? She's not gonna win. Um Their end is pretty bad. Alright. We'll take the Bell Haunt, just their only castable card. It just like it doesn't even do anything. But I want to make my land drops to cast Liliana. No, I'll take the, I'll, I'll take the end of the God Eternals. We have, we have another thought erasure, but we gotta take Ugu with that, I think. And Bell Haunt's not even that bad for us. They have no answers to our thief right now, so another one. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I'll be in Syracuse. Nicole will be there too, actually. Nicole might have come come and hang out later a bit. Maybe. You're all good. Oh my god, it's so brutal. Right on <sighs> this might be a bad idea. Alright, well, they drew a really good card after we, after we thought seized them. Just par for the course. Chilled resub seven months. Welcome back, my friend. Uh, we're just gonna play it and let them bounce it, I guess, and just play it again next turn. Kind of stinks, but why doesn't my thief have the little uh, symbol that shows they did they know this cards in my hand? It's weird. Yeah, I get it. I understand. I get how it works. No, oh, they bounced it. Oh, I didn't play it yet. I'm sorry. In my mind, I was like one step ahead. They had already bounced it. I'm just, I'm just dumb. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Is you a hero of precinct one too? All right. Uh, I mean, they have no answer to thief yet. That's good. 
Right, I, I'm in I'm in like I'm in the future. I'm from the future. I'm just so far ahead of the game. It's just unreasonable. Here we go. Hey Flash, wanna hear a joke? Oh killing me. Okay, never mind, we're good. Though they can Ugin next turn and just get it back. Or they can unsummon. We, we at least get that first thief hit in though. And if they Ugin to kill it, we just get it back with Soren. That's pretty good, Zoo. Alright. Uh yeah. This is where we're at. We could just thought erasure actually. Try and get their Ugin. But then then Teferi goes. We, we thought erasure for their Ugin. Thought Erasure for Ugin, play a Thief. They plus Bell Haunt, we Hostage Taker, Thief, Attack. That's not bad. Alright, let's do that. That's a terrible tap. Why would you tap like that? What are you crazy? It's pretty good too, honestly. That's actually really good. Okay. That's dope. Um, I guess if they draw a removal spell here, it's actually devastating. They have to like unsummon one thief, kill the other thief, attack. That's pretty brutal. Um, so maybe we just attack. I mean, we attacked and then we then we're trading blows on thief. And they know we topped a card. I'm just not gonna attack. If they draw a kill spell here, it's pretty devastating, but. God, they do a kill spell. I am not making this up as I go. Oh my god. Holy crap, dude. Well, this game was fun to play for the two minutes we were playing it. Alright, I mean we're just dead now. So like, if I attack, the thing is if I attack, they could just take the hit, and then just unsummon my thief, and then attack us. So like, either way, their their thief was going to hit us. Maybe I should have just killed the, th I, cu I couldn't kill the thief though, once I cast Thought Erasure, I couldn't kill the thief. Alright, I mean, that was obviously very unfortunate, but... Yeah, I don't know if we have a better play than that. We Liliana plus. That might actually be good enough to. We know they have God Eternals. That's that's seven. Ugh. Everything's awful here. Thief of Sanity is so devastating. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know if we had if we had a good play that turn, honestly. Like This game has gone like pretty poorly for us. How things have just kinda like played out over the three few turns, like the cards they drew and so on and so forth. Oh my god. I need to go to the next game. Uh, like, I don't know if there's a safe play to make there. Because if I, if I thought, if I hostage taker their thief, they just play the kill spell and kill it anyway. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Alright, uh, I think I want this time wipe. What do I not want? The spark's, like, kind of narrow. 
It does kill important cards, but it. <sighs> hmm. Guard Mage blocks Thief pretty well. It's like shave it to spark. I kind of want like a time wipe or two. Melvin. I honestly don't want many cards on my sideboard. Time wipe's the big one. Um, I think guard mage seems good in a matchup like this. Maybe we can cut like a mortify or something. Just cut the other. I'll just cut the other to spark. Just not risk having a dead card. We have ways to kill things. I guess the sparks are only clean answer to some of these planeswalkers. But mm. what's up, pickle? I appreciate it, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for subbing too. Much appreciated. Let me try this. Try this one out. Born in unmoored ego. Cyborg card extraordinaire. Well, this hand is super awkward. I'm not a big unmoored ego fan. It's probably okay in this deck, but what if we draw any land that comes in untapped. This hand is awesome. If we don't, we have turn three thought erasure, worst case scenario. I'm going to keep this. MC Man, welcome, my friend. Happy to have you. Hot Local Moms, five month resub. <laughs> happy to have you too. Always happy to have Hot Local Moms on my channel. So, we sure land here. Shame. Draw a land here. Oh. Gotta have a little faith sometimes, you know? Like a little bit of faith. Sometimes when you have faith, you're just not rewarded, you know? I think it's a keep. Like any land, you know, the Teferi just buys so much time. It's, it's just a repulse, you know? Like, if we drew a land there and we get to play Teferi and unsummon their thief, we're actually, like, pretty far ahead, I think. So, thanks for following. If you have followed, see with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube. Uh, make sure you uh, follow on there. And uh, everyone can check out the Twitter, of course. Give me a follow at your Davis MTG on the Twitter. Me and Angrath. Check out Twitter. Of course, I tweet, I tweet whenever I go live, as well as other fun things. Um, sub bracket, NHL playoffs, free contest I did for all my subs. Prizes are great. They are BCW products. BCW products are awesome. And uh, fun stuff on there as well. Check it all out. Why can't you just be normal? Check it out. Twitter, at Jim Davis MTG. Give me a follow, right? Angrath Metal. Keep ski. Uh, I think Chandra is very, very good. Yeah, Coral Dayton has this bracket on lockdown, honestly. Law Rune Enforcer. I would say our hand looks very, very good against White Weenie. I didn't realize Oath of Kai at first was to any target. Any target. I thought it was only creatures. Like any target's pretty good. Maul, what are you crazy? Yeah, Rod. When I first saw, um, when I first saw Chandra, that's what I thought she did. I thought she dealt the damage to any target, which would be insane. You attack Chandra the two-two and it just kills the two-two. I thought it was like it was like the most broken broken card ever. It's not that good. It's still very good though. Bit 
Peru, Peru, Peru. Thanks for following, everyone. Who here watched the uh, the MPL weekly event that happened today? Trust me. You'll thank me later. Trust me. Okay. I have a plan. So, and what'd you all think of it? That's a pretty good draw. If I draw a land, I get to uh, go precinct into Scorn. So I can Oath Akaya, I can just kill Teferi. I can always kill Teferi later, I guess. Yeah, it was cool. Um, I think they have to work on it a little bit. I was pretty confused as like this, the, the structure of the overall tournament and like what was happening. And the caster seemed a little confused too. We were like we were like watching some matches and not watching some matches, and but overall it was cool. It's definitely a, a good step in the right direction. I don't think killing Teferi even matters. I'm just gonna kill like the Law Rune Enforcer and make a token attack. I, I can attack. Too. I'm so stupid. I'm just I'm not even thinking. I'm just yakking away over here. Why not deploy? The good thing about Esper now, Esper Hero, is that now you can just play all good cards. A card like Deploy is not very good. You know, it's cool, it's fun, but it's a pretty fundamentally weak card. And what makes this Esper deck a lot better now is that we're playing good cards like Tyrant Scorn, Soren, Othakaya, etc., etc. Alright. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ken, you think they need more relevant players? What do you mean? Land. Wow. Do you hear that, folks? That's cold. Nicole was playing HQ Trivia on both of our phones at the exact same time. Yes. And someone you managed to glitched. win on her phone and lose on my phone. Are you phone. on Wi-Fi? Because I'm not. Your game, your game glitched. Wow. I tried that's to great. No, that, that's great. Oh, yeah. Just whatever. Hold on. Hold on. $3.32 okay, is can, a good one, I can too. Wait, I can wait here, actually. Uh, I won on Smarter Day. Unbelievable. You would, you, would, you, would you like to join me and hang out? Uh, you can say no. <laughs> I would love to. I'm in, like... I guess... Can chat see if I'm wearing pants or not? Or what? <laughs> I mean, No. Why don't you go play 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 words or whatever, and then, and then come down after that, all right? Sure. Oh, pants are not I, necessary I, on the street. Pants are not. Hi, friends. Aiden says they lost hard. There were six savage questions. There were a lot of savage questions, yes. Oh. All right. But I am more savage than them savage questions. So. Nicole just snapped at everyone. <laughs> I snapped at you, actually. Damn. Alright, so that, their hand is really, really good here. I think we're still fine. Um, there's just no reason really to do this an hour later, but... So we kill this. Making a lot of bodies here. We get to Othakaya something. Well, Othakaya, on the Marsh is going to be a 4-4, actually. That's bad. Yeah, that's true. Mortify looking a little a little worse now. Or the oath we had an oath earlier and then mortified later. That's true. It's true. Mistakes may have been made. Um I mean we can despark the Loxodon. They can't really attack with this Marshall. Um Asper can get in. I guess Adondo Vanguard can get in too. Venerate Loxodon so good. Um, it's three. Yeah, this is fine. We're just gonna say go here. We guess it's a fairy untapped D spark too. So, we'll just say. Oh wait, no. That's a, that's a reason to play oath now. But I want to oath. Yeah, actually, it's better. Okay, never mind. Excuse me. 
They're gonna flip landing next turn too. Man, Venerator locks on is so good. What a magic card Venerator locks it on is. This thing gives everything lifelink. Oh, only on your turn. Okay. It's a weird, a weird stipulation. Gideon Black. That's a really good last card to have. Share in my light. Interesting. Um, and they gave Loxodon Indestructible. So, this is lock here, here, here. Just take 10. We can also just attack the Gideon. So now I can untap. Hmm. If I draw a kill spell for Marshall, I can just kill Gideon. It's five with a blocker. Yeah, this is fine. Any land or kill spell. That's like not the worst, honestly. Um. Sure. D spark now? Why? We can just wait. What's the rush? Dan, you're going to a PTQ tomorrow? Where's the PTQ? I'm pretty stoked for the Grim PTQ. We're actually having a real life PTQ at our local uh our local store here on Long Island. Exiles anyways, this is fine. I believe it. They might, they might make their attack thinking this this is going to live, so this is fine. Where's Toy Wiz? A lot of heroes here. A lot of heroes. And we're going to... I think just chump lock and go to four, honestly. I want to keep uh, stuff in play to attack Gideon if we draw a kill spell of some kind. Or we draw a land for the fairy. Ooh, that's a... Oh God, we can't cast that yet. Never mind. Um, Alright. I might just actually play Soren here and just attack most things at, at Gideon. Uh, we gain a bunch of life anyway. We're making a bunch of blockers. I can also just return whatever I get back. Yeah, so that, that's actually pretty cool. So we'll attack with, um, they block this, block this. This gets through, this gets through, this gets through, this gets through, this gets through. So we kill Gideon, we gain like 15 life or whatever, and then we just minus, get back a hero, and we're now in really good shape. Bravery wasn't enough. Jump blocker for days, happy life total, any land is insane, any spell is insane. I think we only have two cards in our deck that cost five mana, and we won six drop too, I guess, so most draw steps are good next turn. Uh, 
I'm pretty happy just killing this. Like, if the thing goes off next turn, they could have, like, just waited, but that's cool. Works for me. Get a nine. Untap. Draw the land. Money. Imagine they have a main deck counter spell. Alright, I'm gonna keep sword. I could minus sword and get back this hero, but that seems kind of worthless. Boom, shakalaka. Mill them. Not enough to hammer at home here. I mean, sure. Oh, it's Ives. I should have milled us. You're right. I just wasn't thinking. You're correct. Maybe we'll deck them, alright? Maybe we'll deck them. I should have milled us. I'm dumb. You're smart. I'm dumb. You're attractive. I am not good looking. Etc. Etc. We'll just scoreboard and see who wins this game, alright? How many tokens have I made with these heroes? It's like insane. There's been so many tokens. That's weird. Sure. They've been holding this card forever. It's gotta be a land, but... Alright, um... Now I'm gonna bring back... Our friend here. Oh, that's the tripping point right there. Got it. Get it. Got it. Good. Let's go. Uh, we're going to want Time Wipe. Moment of Craving. Maybe Basilica Belmont? Um... Don't want to spark. I don't want the many thought erasures either. We're on the draw too. It's kind of hard to find time to play thought erasure. Um, am I interested in Basilica Bell Haunt? I don't think so. Teferi is like. Teferi is a little weird because it. it they might bring in counter spells, and the fairy is actually strangely good there. Um, how good is this deck without big to fairy? It's probably fine. Yeah, let's do this. Bell haunt better than Soren. Soren's pretty good. I don't know. The two three is pretty good too. Like if we can gum the ground up, the flyer might matter. Gain life and drawing cards pretty sweet. Sounds dope. This is our first match. This deck. It's all it's all blurring together again. Van! Three month resub. Welcome back, my friend. I should kill something. I should have killed something. Yeah, if they, if they had venerated locks on there, I feel pretty stupid. Kyle, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Thanks, sub. Appreciate that. You to bomb. Board out two thought erasures and something else. I don't remember. Mystery. All right, deep sanity time.
Don't kill my thief. Don't kill my thief. I'm just gonna close my eyes. And I'm gonna think about all the things I'm gonna do with Thief next turn and how it's gonna live and how nothing bad's gonna happen and that I'm gonna name my Thief of Sanity uh, Fred and Fred the Thief of Sanity is gonna hit them next turn and get some cool cards and it's definitely not gonna die. Oops. So I'm gonna keep thinking these things. Uh, definitely not blocking and uh, it's not gonna die. It's gonna be safe. They're gonna play like a 2-1 a or something and we're gonna untap and attack them with Thief. Ah! Rude. Might be in trouble here. Alright, so this is protecting this knight, so we'll Othakaya on this knight. We're taking so much damage next turn. Poor Fred. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Seven lands. Probably too many. What do I think about Team Reclamation? Seems just worse than playing the card next to Fate. So we got a 15. Take 12 next turn. So they have a Benelish Marshal, we're dead. Good hand. History is good. Um, might be more interested in thought erasure on the play. Hey, to make the fairy just bad. Yeah, we'll just cut the Teferis. Like, Teferi seems only good if we, if we play Hero on turn 2. If we play Hero on turn 2, we're in great shape anyway. Damn, that's a hand. Play hero, demand an answer. Play thief, demand another answer. Come and get your love. Dan says, he likes the opponent's name, so he hopes they win. About 15 ninjas. I like three ninjas. Anyone? Three ninjas. So you can never tell how many ninjas there are, right? Because if they're good ninjas, you shouldn't even see them. So... So, let's see what they have here. Legion's Landing. I think I'm pretty interested in playing a, a Thought Erasure. They have so many X1s in play that my hero tokens are going to be phenomenal. So if they have a way to pump things past one toughness, I want to take that from them right now. And if I play Thief and they kill it, we're way behind. So... Jeez. Uh, Alright. Let's take Tribunal. So I think Thief can run, run, run away with the game. Maybe we should board Teferi out, honestly. Uh, we can keep that. So if they want to cast History, they have to draw land or throw away two creatures.
It's about 15 knights. Ah, oh, they're, they're doing it anyway? Wow. That's ambitious. I'm actually, like, really happy with this attack. So, okay. That's a brave vampire. That is a brave vampire. Coward. Coward. Alright, well... I mean, double history is pretty bonkers. We do have to ferry into Scorn. Um... To mop up a little bit. That's obviously a few more blockers, too. Jim, I don't get to see you live that much. Good to see you not on YouTube. Love your content. GY, thanks so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Five months. Thank you so much. Huge ups to all my YouTube viewers who uh, don't get to see me live too often, but watch the YouTube content and choose to subscribe to me on Twitch as a way to support me. Seriously? You all the real MVPs. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Enter the God Eternals is a pretty good one. Um, so we can like eat Sky Marcher Aspirant, make a big blocker, make another blocker, gain some life. Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape now, honestly. History goes off next turn, but... We get blocks and a 4-4. This feels pretty good. Now we like hit some random one drop, draw land next turn. That'd be great. Perfect. All part of the plan. You mill yourself because you have Soren, as I found out last game. <laughs> Alright, so big attacks here. We have to make some pretty good blocks. Take, uh, taking eight here is fine. We kill some stuff. All good. What's up, Coral? Coral, you're crushing the fantasy, uh, not fantasy, the, uh, the NHL playoff bracket challenge. Oh, yeah, let's just do it. We're doing great. LOL! Two month resub. Welcome back. Lol. Lol. Dovin's Veto. Interesting. I want this Benelish Marshal, though. That's pretty cool. I actually had the Islanders... Oh, no, I had the Islanders beating the Penguins, but losing to the Capitals in my bracket. On the button that tells me how many months I've been subbed. That's a good button, Power. Thanks for resub. Appreciate that. You great. Isn't Scorn Marshall Marcher better than Teferi? No, now I get to play. I get to make two tokens and make and kill two things. So I'm gonna uh, Scorn something. Let's return it instead of kill it, in case they have indestructible or something. And we're going to block some stuff here. And they are out of gas. This 
Seems like a pretty good matchup for us. Coral says, want to know why the Hurricanes and Bruins aren't playing tonight or playing on Sunday? Why? What happened? We got a Loxa on here? That's pretty good. It's good. Oh, hello. Uh, let's draw a card here. Hurry. That's pretty good, too. All right, we're going to play Creature Creature here. There's an optometrist convention. So they just assumed the, the Hurricanes weren't going to make it this far in the playoffs and scheduled an optometrist convention. That is something else. I like this go wide thing we have going on here. I like this card a lot. I'm a Cloud Blazer fan. Couldn't see it coming, you know? Just couldn't see it coming. Just, oh, that was a good catch. Just couldn't see it coming. I like you, furlough baggins. I like you. Oh yeah, you're dead. Is that round one or round two? I don't remember. One oh, two oh, what happened? I don't even remember. Ooh, some gems, look at us. CW, I respect that. We're definitely not 1-1-1. One, one, and one. Uh, last place. 2-1? Really? Played that many matches already? I mean, with this deck. Can't take the sanity. That was a really good draw. Just your usual draw the best possible card if we're getting to rest, you know? Ooh. Alright, so this is some, like, probably mopey Grixis deck. Yep. That is what it is. Uh, D-Spark should be good here. Cry the Carnarium, negate, search for Escanta. Alright, so search for Escanta is really annoying because... They play Search, our Thief's gonna flip that really fast. Cry is also very good against us, though. So, this puts us in an interesting spot. We gotta take Search. They already have, like, what, three cards in the bin? Four? Yeah. We can play Thief on five with Scorn back up if we need to. We just can't. Oh, that's actually uh, uh, never mind. Exiles. Um, it's good though. All right. So yeah, we're gonna say go here. If this didn't exile, we would slam Thief here. But ugh, gross, gross. Yeah, beating Escanta will be very difficult. Um, Taking their card that trades one for one with our card isn't that bad, so. They took D Spark. That is probably not great for us. They didn't play a land, though. Alright, we just slam uh, Soren here. Try and draw a land next turn so we can go Thief of Sanity plus Scorn. Sure. Alright, now we just play Stupid Thief, whatever. We have two. Yep. So, yeah, this is good. We'll play. We'll play thief. We'll leave up scorn. They cast nickel balls. We'll just discard scorn, and we'll we'll god eternals it. It's pretty good. So. Speak of a devil. This is a good turn for us. This is a good turn for us. Taste it. It's 
Taste it. Duress or Bedeck Bedazzle. We just stone rain them. They only have one blue source. They have negate though. Um, I'll take the duress. And do I nab the negate now? Nah. All my cards cost uh, less than six. What's up, bearded fool? How's it going, my friend? Good to meet you too. Feeling pretty good here, not gonna lie. Oh, hello. Mastermind's Acquisition. So unless they get a creature card, we're in good shape. This is a uncommonly played card in best of uh, best of three. Thiefia, thought erasure, yeah. Well, now if it's just, that doesn't matter what it is, right? Dress you. Uh, thought erasure you. Sure. To ferry you. This game looks close. I'll protect you. Open in Louisville, so maybe. Uh, leaning towards no. Um, it's possible, but probably not. Alright, so Grixis-y stuff. What do we want against grixis -y stuff? Uh, don't really want Oath of Kaya. Not big on Tyrant Sworn either, honestly. I would like some number of duresses. I don't mind the Rogue Shadow Mage either. Um, don't want to go too hard on Dovin's Veto. I'm definitely interested in uh, in some duresses. Um, yeah, I think I just like duressing the crap out of them. Try that. Yeah, but deck is interesting. The problem is it's like a six mana spell, so like you might be able to catch Escanter with it, but Alright, Sand's fine. It's not great, but You've played forty five matches of magic tonight? Hmm. I've played about seven or eight. We ever figure out what my, my record was? My 1-0, one 1-1. One, one. Took the Planeswalker, huh? One one. We lost to the mirror. Yeah, right. One one. Got it. Nickel Bolus the Ravager. Elite Guard Mage. They yeah, untap and do a counter spell here. Are probably gonna lose, but. pretty good draw, actually. Um, all things considered. I was probably going to Fairy Tuck, but this is much better. I have a 
schemes to attend to let your weak minds crumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, that's our first guild mage we've cast so far. Seems fine, it's not a great matchup for it, but... Bedeck. Carnival. I suppose that is one way to do it. Alright, I mean... We're going to tuck this Nickel Bolas and not feel very happy about it. I am not going to sit this long. Let's take it back. Probably have a devil here. No, oh, cool. My record in Richmond? Oh, God. Uh, a lot of losses. I made day two. I didn't do great on day two. So not exactly permanent answers here. We need to find some sort of uh, way to stop these nickel balls from coming. Oh no! I guess they get rid of one of them, right? Oh, actually, it's Scrivage. Keep it. Yeah. All right, that's bad. I think we're in trouble. Think we're in trouble. Let's slow this down. That's more like it. That's actually pretty good. Uh They might need, to, might, might need to, like, double up here. Oh, never mind. Bad, 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 bad. Hero's not bad. Evil. Let's tidy up in there. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Not bad. We're, like, we're playing. We're battling a little bit here. Doing some stuff. My revenge will be pain I outsmarted you eons ago. Tilt. Sure. Alright, we're at, uh... That's, that's a thing. I'm pretty sure we're just casting this. Um... I've got time. Like, we just can't sit here and lose a land every single turn. This isn't a fight you can win. Don't worry, I got Sweet. This. Paid off. Ooh, sorry. I've this done the hero thing before. Yeah, I mean, we're getting bled away here. Um, maybe sack to ferry. We do have five drops. I mean, we already cast two to ferries. We don't have that many five drops, honestly, left in our deck. Conceivable. My schemes are Ugh. Unbelievable, inconceivable. Oh my god. They're just drawing all the uh all the goodies here. Alright, sure. They got that one. They got that one. Nickel Bolus Dragon God's really good. Um I don't know about the rest of the Grixis cards, but Nickel Bolus Dragon God is something else. Um It's fine. They're fine here. Don't with Vito's too reactive. Like, I hold up Vito, they just play a Nickel Bolas creature, I feel really dumb. 
They have discard spells also, so it's not even reliable. Uh, that sounds good. Mulligan. Sounds really good. Good curve. It's got some threats to pressure them. It's got some discard. Planeswalker. Resiliency on the play. Great. Sure. Sign me up. Make him answer this. If they do, we'll just soar in minus. Never mind, we're good to go. Thief of Sanity is good for takeoff. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'll take that for sure. Take their Cry of the Carnarium. No, they would cast that if they had it. Elder Spell, Nickel Bolas Carnival. Take a Nickel Bolas. Yeah. And another land. Yeah. I mean, they have the Elder Spell. Um, which can kill the Nickel Bolas, but like, even just plusing it once is really good, so... If once you're in a level on Arena, you cannot fall below that level. Oh my god, what a draw step. What a draw step. Who are these people? Alright, uh... Let's take the, uh, like a 3 for 1 here. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. So they probably discard Carnage, keep Elder Spell, kill Nicol Bolas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My intellect is without limit. No! How can you take him seriously when he, when he does things like that? You know, like. I won't. You know what? I'm not done yet. Like, you imagine Thanos going, "No, I should not play that land." I just whatever. I screwed over yours. I just can't even. I can't even pull it together. It's too funny. Thanks for following Rocky. You've been following the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube. Make sure you follow there. Man, back to back bedevils off the top. Go opponent. Do we scry? Let me just scry. Wait, wait, no. No, no. Best possible draw ever. Oh, I minused. I'm, I'm stupid, never mind. Whatever. It's still good, though. I still should obviously keep it. Sure. Plus keys. Don't worry. I got this. Don't worry. Don't worry, chat. I got this. Don't worry. Sure. Don't worry. Alright. Don't you worry. No, I am not making this up as I go. So now, I can play a land. Yeah, I'll play a land. Because if they play Nickel Bowls, I can just play End of the God Eternals in response, which is great. You take some damages. Ugh, what a whiner. What a whiner. Man, it's just like. Things just work out the way I say they should. I should play the lottery or something. Oh, uh, me. It's like this is totally scripted, you know? And not happening live on the internet. Loneliness can hurt. Nope, nope. Not the 4 4. Anything but the 4 4. Uh, do I draw here? I think I just draw. 
a bad idea. Just do it again. Make a token. I'm known for my excellent timing. Goes nothing. Works for me. Have I had the opportunity to crap, crack Japanese packs of War of a Spark? Nope. Uh, I don't like foreign language cards, and I don't really care about um, the alternate art planeswalkers. Sorry. I like the basic, boring, simple versions of the cards. I'm just a boring person, what can I say? Give me my old dress. Take your your foily, fancy animations and... I just don't want them, you know? Struggling. I like it basic. Good. I like vanilla ice cream. Alright, so... D-Spark, or I think it's just it's Mortify, not D-Spark. Because D-Spark can hit uh, the Planeswalkers also, so... Didn't I minus the Teferi? Maybe I plus it. I should have probably draw stuff to rest, yeah. I don't even I don't even know it's right. Trust me, I have a plan. The rack. <laughs> Got him under the rack here. Popsky says, trying to grind from plat to diamond. You can get to plat one with gruel monsters and then go on a huge losing streak every time. Any ideas on decks to grind? Um, the problem is that Gruul Monsters is good. It just isn't very good against um, against Esper Control, and Esper Control is really, really popular right now. So, um, I don't know if Gruul's a great choice at the moment. And for the most part, you'll hit Mythic playing any deck if you're playing enough games and playing well enough, you know? Yeah, Esper Control is very popular right now. Alright. Sweet. This deck's pretty cool. I like this list. I like no copies of uh, Deputy of Detention. I don't like that card at all. And that card's a weak link. Like most of the cards we're playing. Demir Zombies. Um, I've played a Demir Zombie deck, uh, but is it is, that's, that's the Soul Food deck basically. I played like a Demir, like a, a pure Zombie Zombie Tribal deck, but it seems cool. Jet sounds great, my thing, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. All right, so awkward spot here, where if they had a kill spell, they would have killed this. They might have a cry or a wrath, but realistically, I think I'm just playing this here. Death Baron, Gleaming Overseer, and Kefnit. Mm. Yeah, obviously. All right, that's a huge tilt. But given how bad our hand is against control, I think we don't have a choice in the matter. Like our hand is just atrociously bad against control. It's two grizzly bears, a two three, and, a, and a, an uncastable spell. That's not the worst. Be cool to hostage taker this thing. Right. Well. Yeah, new new bitter blossom's cool. The meta game is a lot of what it was, you know. I mean, we're not in terrible shape here. D-Spark an answers Planeswalkers. We can Tyrant Sworn to unsummon something we have to. Probably the Chemisters here. They ship a Veto. We got a ways to go before they flip this thing. They cast Wrath, we just unsummon our Guard Mage to draw more cards. It's pretty cool, too. Thought Erasure? That's kind of tilt. Mm. 
Yeah, I think Esper Control is good against Mono Red, so... As long as the Esper Control decks are adapting to Chandra. I think Mono Red's specifically very good against Nexus, which is why it did so well in Week 1. They took the D-Spark? Mm. That's a pretty good draw. What you got, fool? Probably absorb. You know my hand, so sure. So that helps out. They were trying to set up absorb, like in, uh, wrath into absorb. Whoa. That's a problem. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. I mean, I guess our Enter the God of Thrones has a target now at least. <laughs> Thanks for all my friends. You haven't followed that follow button, of course. Welcome, welcome. Ugh. Close. Alright, as Kantha flips, Liliana in play, like 10 cards in hand, we are probably dead. Bird. I think Soren's good. Soren's very, like, your creatures are very killable. Like, you can't leave a Thief of Sanity or a Hero of Precinct 1 in play for very long. And then Soren's very good at buying them back, which is nice. It's a good, it's a good curve. Uh, we're, we're just super dead in this game. Alright, I mean, the fact that we're even close to end that game was kind of nice. We just drew bad creatures and got cried at the current end on turn three. But uh, let's bring in Shadow Thingy, Vito, Bell Haunt, Duress, Duress, Duress. Let's cut uh, Enter the God Eternals. Uh, I don't think Liliana's very good. It's just like really, really hard to cast and expensive. Uh, not big on Hostage Taker. Thief just seems a lot worse because um, Teferi answers, answers, answers it so cleanly. Tyrant Scorn. Alright, Othakai has got to go. It can finish off Planeswalkers, but it's pretty bad. And then we're going to think about what cards you want to have in to answer possible Thief of Sanities. Tyrant Scorn can also unsummon our own creatures defensively, which is kind of nice. Actually, I don't, I don't want these. Why, why are these coming? Um, let's cut a Scorn and put Liliana back in. I think I like this. Cut a Scorn? No! Soren gets my creatures back. Planeswalkers are like one of the permanent types they have the most trouble removing. So. Didn't play Drakes yet. Great. Ashiok? Ashiok doesn't really do anything. Yeah, also, Dan, I think I think Liliana's fine because we're just slamming our... We have, like, seven discard spells, so it's going to be a lot of, like, discard spells, kill stuff, kill stuff. You're going to get to this, the slam stuff stage pretty quick. So... Oh, boy. Their hand is... An uncastable cry of the Carnarium, a thought erasure, and a bunch of crap. Um, we're going to take the search for Escanta here. They draw a black source and they thought erasure me. I have two good cards. Um, we can't answer search. I, I, I have more than five for search. Never mind. I'm stupid. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just take thought erasure here. Their hand's pretty ambitious. I 
They're obviously going to go, like, Watery Grave, Drown Catacomb here. Runner, runner, black sources for their cry, but... I don't even know why I talk, honestly. Now they have two shots at a black source for Cry the Carnarium. I think maybe I just a fairy here. Yeah, I think I should ferry. I mean, I guess if they, if they duress me, they can get the Mortify. It's pretty bad. Um, yeah, if I if they duress my Mortify, it's pretty bad. Ugh, this is kind of gross. It's actually fine because I'll now I'll resolve one or the other. Unsilent Ninja, can you give me money to play Bant midrange? Um, not right now. It's getting pretty late. They've been to cast down? That's interesting. That's really weird. Why would they bin a cast down? Like, why would they lead me with Deep Insanity and bin cast down? Alright, I mean. Don't draw a black source. Or a way to kill it. And you had a way to kill it, and you just got rid of it. Oh, they drew a black source. <laughs> they knew. They knew. That's pretty that's pretty unreal. This has been a pretty, pretty unreal game. They kept a really sketchy hand, and uh things have uh run pretty perfectly for them. Yeah, we got some Mark Sleeves over here. They, uh, they bin the answer to Thief because they knew they were drawing the Black Source for Cry, which is an even better answer. <laughs> What's up, nerd girl? How you doing? <sighs> well, I guess they don't even have Sleeves. So they're marking their cards. It was a fairy too. Uh, Unsilent Ninja, 11 month resub. Welcome back, my friend. You the bomb. Message me on uh, Discord, and we'll talk about it. All right. That's not a bad draw. Okay, grind in here a little bit. I think we're just firing away here. Show me Wrath of God, whatever. We're like pretty far behind, and then we should, we should need to pressure them. Make them have it. I think they're due to, to not have it, you know? They have seven cards in the graveyard, right? Yeah. Alright. That was a pretty tough game. <laughs> it's almost like they can see their top few cards based on the well, the, the, the hands they kept the hand they kept and the way that they, they played the game. It was like they knew their top five cards. I'm gonna they're they were definitely cheating. There's just no other way. Just no other way. They're hacking the program. You heard it here first, folks. Arena's hackable. Arena's hackable. Alright, so we're two two, I think? That's pretty average. Are we better than average or worse than average? Yeah, they're map hacking. Alright. Uh, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Perfect mana. One duel. All buddies. Hey, buddy. I'm not your guy, buddy. I'm not your friend, guy. Turn to Teferi. I know my responsibility. That seems really good. I've got 
Oh boy. Alright. like probably frilled mystic uh hmm interesting probably just play hero <laughs> all right so that's fine i think i'm just gonna scorn their lana or else Get a token. I'm not your pal, guy. Rant's pretty good, like. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. That's awkward. I mean, I, I would like a double spell, so I, I kind of play a four drop this turn. I'm going to play the worst four drop, I guess. Go ahead, Frilled Mystic again. I think it's like unsummon their Frilled Mystic soon, too. Frilled Mystic and Teferi is pretty gross. Incubation Druid. Paradise Druid. Alright, Mana Tribal, got it. Um, Enter the God Eternals. Uh, so whenever I play, they can just bounce. Well, I guess it stops them from bouncing their Frilled Mystic, which is pretty busted. Um... Alright, we're just gonna hostage taker or Frilled Mystic. I I should have that isn't even good, so we can't even cast it obviously. Um We draw a land, it's so nice. I guess if we play Thief. I mean if they have if their last card's Krasis, this is a disaster. Um Play Thief, they just play a monster Krasis. I guess we we have to be hostage taker. Right, that's, actually, that's actually fine. We'll put we'll just play Thief of Sanity. Turn to Teferi is pretty busted. That's more like it. Sure. Let's draw land, please. We want a land. We want a land. Okay, there we go. Show me potato salad. Not really. Another hero? Hmm. I don't think I'm interested in another hero. You can do better than that. How do you play against the Exile Graveyard Planeswalker with the Drake's deck? Uh, 
You can pressure it, you know. Hydro crisis. I've got time. Oh, that's bad too. <laughs> I like each creature slowly backing off. It's pretty funny. Um. I do like the idea of just getting the Frilled Mystics off the table so they can't bounce them with the fairy. So like, I think we just hostage taker got. It. Oh wait, no, I can't hostage taker. If it, if I if I hostage taker this thing, it goes into eggs. That's so dumb. I don't I don't like that rule. I don't know how that works out. Um. All right. So, Oketra is like kind of trouble. I got. I guess. We, I, I guess we can just get rid of it by doing that. Sure. I kind of want to kill the to fairy. I guess we just. I guess we we just do that. Sure, yeah, that works. The thing is, like, once the fairy gets to three, we can't cast it, they can just unsummon it back to their hand. Killing the fairy is pretty big here. I think I want to just kill the fairy, and then we'll kill, like, a Jade Light Ranger with the God Eternals. Uh, yeah, because if we, if we steal it, they get to unsummon it, and if they play a flyer, we're in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to wait one turn to make that play. Is that reach, right? It's only a matter of time. Um, I guess I mill us. Pretty good. All right, so like, they draw a crappy ground creature. It's fine. We just thief them. We hostage take or thief them. This is a double striker. It's fine. Well, that's obviously worst case scenario, basically. Their deck is mostly crappy creatures, but... Okay. That doesn't really work either. bad. So maybe you cast the creature spell. Alright, so maybe just hostage take your druid, just smash everything, and then despark Oketra as I get on summon. Um I take her this turn, you can mill him with enter this turn. Yeah, but I don't I don't know. Alright, take this thing. To uh we're gonna smash No, the new gods aren't anything close to to a uh, scarab god. And friends. Alright, so they take a lot here. We're pretty far ahead. I mean they have one one big draw step here for something good. That's not really that good. Let's slow this down. Yeah, Teferi is very good against the the, the uh, Demir cards in the format. Don't worry. It's good against uh, God Eternal, it's good against Hostage Taker, it's good against Thief of Sanity. This isn't a fight you can win. I had to cast the Spark before my hero died. No, I am not making this up as I go. Was another Teferi? Alright. Um
only attack them for three. They play this. I hostage taker it. Attack again for three. Yeah. I don't think the fairy matters really. Sure. I guess I think it's big too. Let's try this. A kill spell of some kind, I suppose. They are dead on board, so whatever their draw step is. This deck does seem pretty good. The Bant deck. I, I haven't played this deck yet. Well, I guess we're dead now. <sighs> well, Niles, if you were mad before, how you feeling now? <sighs> Alright, let's bring in a time wipe. And... We cut. Elite Guard Mage doesn't seem great here. Um, the spark. The spark seems bad too, actually. What's the spark really hitting, honestly? Most of their cards cost not that much. Uh, get rid of these. Fanny, resub. Welcome back, my friend. You great? I don't think we want moment of craving. No, you're not bringing an unmoored ego. That's very silly. Oh, excuse me. If I hostage taker before Eternals, I kill the guy with the mill. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I, I could have hostage taker that turn, um, but I risked Teferi going up. I thought killing Teferi was more important that turn. Um, maybe it was wrong. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have just hit the, uh, hit the god. I guess I, I could have still... I guess I was just thinking that, like, if I was going to Hostage Taker, I had to also Thief of Sanity them that turn to get rid of it. So if I already had God Eternals, I don't remember if I did or not, I probably should have just done it anyway. Um, so that's probably true. I probably, probably, probably could have won that game, even with all the draws. That's a good end. Kaya! Always land on Rolfs. Every time. They have turn two Tef Teferi again. I'm gonna be a little mad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> turn two Teferi off the of land Rolf is just so busted. Alright. Alright, so. I think we're just O thing. I'm attacking. I have sword in my hands. It's fine. All right. So, very obvious. Frilled Mystic is obvious. Um, this is pretty good, though. So we actually have an instant in our hand, so it's fine. Um, I think we attack for one with the token, and then just say go. Nice having an instant in our hands. So we, we we can we can afford to just say go here, but still affect the board on their turn. Hmm. 
Sure. Hmm. So you can Thought Erasure here, draw out the Mystic, they counter with Thought Erasure, and then we can just like Oath of Kaya the Mystic, or the Druid. Uh, probably the Mystic to get another token. I'm pretty happy with that. Thoughts on Elder Spell against Bant? I'm not sure. It's fine. The deck I'm playing against is bad. I mean, it's a bold claim. Why is there no younger spell? Right? Alright, so... Pretty happy just attacking here. Pretty happy just not doing anything here. We're way ahead on the board, so... You can frill Mystic all day, my friend. Fairy Time Raveler. Sure. Right on schedule. I've got it. Wow. Bouncing a token, not the hero. That's something. Alright. Let's attack the fairy here. Seen that coming. Still not playing into Mystic. Still ahead in the board. Prison Realm. Nice Mortify, Jim. So, with the Realm on the stack, I'm going to Mortify it get a token. If they wish to uh, Mystic Snake that, that's fine. Sure. Yo. That was my time you just wiped. Think my time is not important? Huh? Think my time is not important? My time is important. My time is very important. Good board save, though. Sure. How large is that? 6-6? Six, six? <laughs> Alright, um... I think we're just slam a jam in here. Make him block something, play, play God Eternals, whatever. I think it's kind of obvious what we're doing here. I could have seen a block on the 1-1, honestly, but... They chose not to do that, which is good for us. Now we're going to mill ourselves. We got the old Soren in play. Okay. Ticking time bomb. Pew, pew, pew. Younger spell. White, white. Instant. Put back all the counters on your planeswalkers, your opponent so rudely removed. I like that. That's cool. Alright, so... If we attack with everything, they are almost dead. Um, can't play to fairy because obviously they'll just Mystic Snake it. They've, been, they've, had, they've, been, they've had Mystic Snake the whole game. Um, so I'm pretty sure we're just bashing. 
If they play... Oh, they, actually, if they, if, they, if they play Snake, they get a guy, too. Oh, boy, that's bad. Alright, um... I think we got a Slam Jam to make him do the Mystic Snake play. And then I can just time... At least they, they block the hero, and then I can't time wipe it. Ugh. I need to think for a second. I guess keeping hero isn't even that important, so I just get it back at Soren anyway. Alright, sure. Oh, wow. Really? Put that three down, start taking up Soren. Pew pew pew. <laughs> Time for a drink. We'll first get a Hydroid Crisis. That would kind of snake a little bit, but. Alright, so. Let's buy back Hero, I guess. They have a Mystic Snake here, it kind of sucks, honestly, but. Yeah, I'm pretty cool bouncing the Othakaya here. Give him the old Nugskis. Yes, we could add lethal if he didn't bring back this, the hero, but we gotta play around the possible cards they have. We can't make a Mystic Snake completely blow us out, so this is much safer this way. Yeah, Deferi bouncing your own stuff is really, really good. Alright, game three. Let's go. For all the marbles. Am I interested in more copies of Moment of Craving on the draw? Maybe. Maybe I am. I am interested in more instant speed things make it easier to play around Mystic Snake. If all our things are sorceries, um, that kind of sucks, because Mystic Snake really gets you. Because I have Tyrant Scorn also. I think this is fine. You definitely don't want Unmoored Ego. I am 100,000% sure. Is the one one you got not worth starting on Teferi there? All I have is Teferi, right? So if I... If I Teferi and they Mystic Snake it, then I have to bring back the 2-2, two -two, and now I'm blocking with the the thingy, right? Uh, sounds great. No turn one Lana Rolf? I don't believe it. I, I can't even believe it. There's just no way. No turn one Lana Rolf. Inconceivable. The old baffling end skis. Interesting. So fairy can bounce that and make a uh, make a thingy. Ooh, that's that's even better. Never mind. Hello, thief. What you got? Make him have it. Again. Oh, oh should, you, should, I, should I tell him? Should you tell him? Should I tell him? Or do you, you want to tell him? Can I tell him? I want to tell him. Can I? Thanks. What 
Vivian's pretty good. Give me that Vivian read. I like that. Ah, oh, you want to tell him? I'm sorry. Time wipe, sure. I'll take my Vivian read. Lando, Calrissian. Uh, maybe I want to actually thought erasure here. Vivian Reed minus on baffling end is pretty busted, but thought erasure to now nah, I got Vivian here. Chaz says, "Do the most entertaining thing you can do from your chair, and I'll resub." How was that? Is that good? That's the best I can do. That's all I got. Let's uh, how about making dinosaurs? Is making dinosaurs cool? Instant speed thought erasure? Yeah, that's cool, but I don't think instant speed matters when they have five cards in their hand. Paradise Druid. Alright, so obvious Mystic Snake. Uh I love our dinosaur, I must say. We can like Thought Erasure. Hmm. Just plus. You can't stop nature. That's pretty good. Alright, that makes Thought Erasure more appealing. Heh. <laughs> Two Frilled Mystics. Um, and a time wipe. Okay. So, I have a lot of planeswalkers. I'm not really scared of time wipe, honestly. Uh, I guess if. I can take the Mystic. And then I cast Thief. They'll Mystic it, and I just play to Fairy next turn. And I've sworn up too. Yeah, it seems good. Maybe I should catch cast the Fairy. So I want to keep the Thief actually. Yeah, let's cast the Fairy. They have to counter to Fairy, and then yeah, I like that. Sure. We're gonna be an article that covers this deck and changes to it? I have no plans to, no. That was a really good draw. They drew the perfect card again. Wow, that sucks. Goodbye, Vivian. Right, well, we have our own wrath at least, so. Um Yeah, I mean now I wish I had the other Teferi, but I guess I could have drawn couldn't have drawn that and a land, so. I guess we just time wipe here. Just play Teferi next turn. They're, they're already a few Mystics deep. Uh, if I play Teferi and plus, I can defend it. Yeah, it's actually better. Let's play Teferi and plus. Chaz, resub. Welcome back. Thank me later. No time for a break. Yeah, if, if they deputy the Vivian, that actually is really good because when the deputy dies, they get Vivian back. So that probably would have been a lot better. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't really care about time wipe. Like, we have plenty of planeswalkers and stuff. Time wipe's not very relevant. Do you want me to phase you out of time? Yeah, this is good for us. <laughs> Chaz, I appreciate that. Twitch Prime, everyone. Free subs. Twitch Prime puts food on my table. I'm not done yet. All right, we just wipe here. It's pretty easy. They have a Wrath in their hand. Uh, we have a Planeswalker in play. Prison. All right, never mind. That's fine, though. 
Um, now we play Soren and Thief. That's pretty good. This card's good. Deputy of Detention. I'm mortified as that, you know? Mill something good? Eh, some stuff in there. Alright, so I could could buy back Thief, just too too good of a, a time wipe target, some plus. I abhor my need for blood. Oh, the voice actor for Soren is Gilbert Godfrey. Could buy back the uh, the card draw creature. That'll put Soren to two, though. And then it can't buy back Thief. So I'm, I'm just gonna keep going up here. The weak feed the strong. Sure. Well, that certainly simplifies things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the card draw creature. The card draw creature has been fine. Yep. Can you please explain why do you mill yourself with God Eternals? I have a Soren in play, and Soren gets creatures back from the graveyard. Um, alright. That's a pretty good draw. Par for the course. Tamio Planet Wide Celebration. Choose four. I can make four two I can make two twos, return a permanent card from my graveyard to my hand, proliferate or gain four life. Or I can Tamio. Uh so I can return That's a ferry. A hostage taker and an elite guard mage, and make a two-two. Um, this costs seven mana, six, seven. Oh, three left over to fairy bounce. It's perfect. All right, yeah, that's pretty cool. Proliferate twice, get back hostage taker with Soren. That's also cool. Um, there are a lot of good options here. We. I kind of like getting back to Ferry. And they have five mana to deploy and then four mana to do something else. By Hostage Taker, it, it just goes away. That's pretty good, too. I'll have to proliferate twice, though. I can only get back two other cards. That's really good, too, though. Alright, sure. Well, I can also get Prison Realm. This is like the. What a card. What a card this is. Okay, let's, um, I make the thing bigger, too. Alright, we're going to proliferate, proliferate, return, return. We're going to get back to Fairy and Elite Guard Mage. We're going to proliferate, two, then two. Oh, there's six, there's dead. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm wasting everyone's time. Too many options. Option paralysis, you know? Yeah. <laughs> just killing them is probably... It doesn't actually matter what you do. Just get back to Ferry and kill them. That was cool. What's up, Trax? Alright, sweet. So, um... Yeah. Deck's definitely good. I think, uh, as Dan was saying, finding the correct build of this deck seems very, very difficult. Um, there are so many possible cards to play. Um, I like not playing Deputy of Detention. I like playing Liana. Elite Guard Mage is fine. Um, I don't know how good or bad the red matchup is. If it's bad, this card seems really good for it. Um, I like Oath. 
I like two to sparks. I like most things here, honestly. Cyborg seems fine, I guess. On Mordigo, it's kind of poopy. Um, I wouldn't mind another God Eternals or two in the sideboard, but deck seems great. So, is Lazav worth, worth a spot? No, Lazav doesn't really do anything. Like, you have a lot of comes into play abilities, doesn't copy those, just not very good. Uh, tracks, I believe so, yes. Uh, I tried, is it Phoenix in the standard? No, I have one built, but it's getting a little late, so we're, we're going to call it tonight. I'll play this deck at some point, uh, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But um, that's going to do it, y'all. It's getting late. It's like uh, it's getting close to uh, closing out the evening. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you follow. I love you all. You all great. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, YouTube folks, love you.